Who's that? Oh, that's just Breezy. Before Chris Pratt started killing it at the box office with hits like Guardians of the Galaxy, The Lego Movie, and Jurassic World achieving A-lister status. Close the gate. Are you crazy? Hey, just trust me. Close the gate. Before he married hilarious cutie Anna Faris in 2009 and bragged about getting to braid her hair each and every night. While you're doing that, tell yeah. us about Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, uh, it really plays like a, a sequel, you know? Before Chris Pratt went from lovable chubster in Parks and Rec to a ripped action hero, earning himself runner up on People's Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for 2014, losing to David Beckham, who's so 2009, am I right? Were you excited about that change? <laughs> it is super sexy, but he is also hungry. Before he would reveal to the press that he used to moonlight as a stripper and took this talent into his acting career, stripping on the set of Parks and Rec. Oh, and he would also send his co-star, Nick Offerman, pictures of his poo. I sent him one recently and I said, I'm not into naming poops, but if I was, I'd call this one Footloose. Now, Chris Pratt didn't seem destined for greatness, but was sure he'd become rich and famous one day. In fact, he told his high school teacher that it would happen. Unfortunately, his boyish, carefree attitude wasn't getting him any closer to this dream and led him to do some interesting part-time jobs, including being a coupon salesman and a stripper, one time dancing for his friend's grandma. Him getting naked is a pretty recurring theme in this video. He was living as a beach bum in Maui, working at Bubblegum Shrimp Company, when a well-known actress spotted him and thought he'd make a good addition to her next film. Look who it is. Hottest star in the world right now. Oh my god! Yes, what's his name? Chris Evans. No, Chris Pratt! What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the life and career of Chris Pratt prior to fame, here for you on Before They're Famous. We've covered a lot of other leading men like Chris Hemsworth and Will Smith, but who do you want to see next? That's your job. You let us know in the comments down below. Bright Abbott is that guy. Arrogant and extremely attractive. And uh, for some reason, they cast me. Christopher Michael Pratt was born on June 21st, 1979 in Virginia, Minnesota. He is of Norwegian, English, German, and French Canadian descent. His father Daniel was a mine worker who eventually switched to remodeling houses, while his mother Kathleen, well she was a clerk at a supermarket. My mom's name's Kathleen as well. He was a hyperactive kid that liked to joke around with his older siblings, Cully and Angie, and that usually consisted of him running around naked. But his dad was turbo strict, and he wasn't too impressed. Anytime he got yelled at while young Chris, he broke down and cried, but that wouldn't stop him from getting naked on the regular. Wear clothes. Oop, almost forgot that one. His family made the move to Washington and he went to Lake Stevens High School where he made it onto the wrestling team. Whether he ended up stripping down for that one, well, we can't be sure. But he was good enough to place fifth at a statewide competition. When his coach asked him what he wanted to do with his life, Chris said, I don't know, but I know I'll be famous and make a shit ton of money. Yeah, quite the confident young guy. He's good at predicting things too. I'll have to get back to you later about Jurassic Park 4. Unfortunately, there was minimal follow through on this vision because he ended up dropping out of community college in his first semester and working odd jobs. Those included being a coupon salesman, where every morning he would have to do this chant. Tell me how you feeling! And we'd go, fantastic, terrific, great, oh yeah, strong juice, baby sucker, I feel wonderful, right on, right on, right on, juice, 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 juice! <laughs> and although he had the right energy, he wasn't making enough bank, so he picked up some side work. When I was a kid, I was in a small town, I was a stripper for a little while. I would just like slowly, awkwardly dance and then take, go down to my shorts and they would be like, no. <laughs> His friend made him an offer for a one-way ticket to Hawaii and he took it. He made the move to Maui at the age of 19 and the two lived out of a van on the beach, likely down by the river. And I live in a van down by the river. <laughs> He would work a few odd shifts at Bubblegum Shrimp to support himself and cover gas costs, but outside of that, he was living the dream, smoking, drinking, and fishing the days away. Do you know how unhealthy that stuff is for you? It's on a whole wheat bun, man. During these glory days, he would constantly be bumping Dr. Dre's 2001. Yeah, if I had to pick a place to be homeless, I'd probably pick Hawaii, and also great choice of music. Harder than me trying to talk a dodge, but I'm drunk as fuck. Right next to a humongous truck in a two-car garage. Yeah. Walking out with two broken legs, trying to walk it off. Well, oh. fuck you two, bitch, call the cops. Then one day at the restaurant, he happened to catch the eye of a director and actress known as Ray Don Chong, the daughter of Tommy Chong, who 
thought Chris would be a good fit for an upcoming horror short that she was making out in LA. I don't understand what makes me as Mark be so into her. It's completely fake. It's just not the way I work. The gig paid 700 bucks, and from that moment moving forward, Chris knew what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. He made his way around auditions in Hollywood and before long won the role of Bright Abbott on the TV series Everwood. The show went on for four seasons, and when it ended, well, he wasn't out of work because he got a spot on the OC. Hey, oh, you're really nude. Why don't I? Let me come back. No, wait right there. I have a gift for you. Seriously, what's with this guy being naked all the time? Chris was making a name for himself as a top notch funny guy who didn't mind bearing it all for the camera. He then got the opportunity to really boost his career and read for some big roles like James Kirk in Star Trek and Jake Sully in Avatar. But Pratt was turned down because producers thought he didn't have the it factor. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. He stayed in his niche and landed what was initially a small role as Andy Dwyer on the comedy Parks and Rec. Playing alongside Amy Poehler in an all star cast, he was meant to be a temporary character but the showrunners liked his performance so much they made Andy a regular. That year he also met hilarious hottie Anna Faris while on set of Take Me Home Tonight. The two began dating and soon after well, they got hitched. I thought we weren't going to do the nanny thing, we were going to raise our son by ourselves. Yeah, that's when we thought your career was going nowhere. As Parks and Rec started to gain a massive fan base and critical praise, more and more people were wondering who this charming funny guy was. Chris was absolutely killing it, but he was out of shape and knew it was time to change his image. He started shedding pounds and beefing up for roles in Moneyball and Zero Dark Thirty and proved himself as a charismatic and dramatic actor. Soon a lot of casting agents started to see him as a legitimate choice for a lead, like for the upcoming Marvel blockbuster Guardians of the Galaxy. They've been trying to cast their lead for some time but hadn't found the right man for the job. That's when they asked Chris to come in and breed, but he turned it down, certain that he didn't have the it factor. The casting director insisted that this happen and set up a meeting between him and the director. Within moments they knew Chris was the man for the job, plus there was a little bit of a nude scene in there, so it's right up his alley. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before their fans. My name is Mike McCredden, and we make all sorts of celebrity bios on here. We've done a bunch of actors in the past. We did uh, Tom Hiddleston and Chris Hemsworth like two weeks ago, and uh, they were pretty good. I feel like you guys should check those out. But there's Will Smith and there's Nicolas Cage. He's an action star, right? He was a Ghost Rider, so I think that'll do. Anyway, guys, browse around, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom. Good comeback story, right? Sea Biscuit. The Mighty Ducks. Yes. Kim Kardashian. Kim. Well. Well, in the video, she gets she gets come on her back. I think.